guys, welcome to Blockman's Day 11, uh, 11, welcome to Blockman's Day 12, Ugh. So today I was supposed to give you guys an experience of shopping, being, you know, Christmas shopping, and showing you what I brought, all the things I was gathering, and you got the cash register and all that, I ain't doing all that, let me explain why. Alright, so, if you not have already done so, please do me a favor, like, commenting, and subscribing, link to all my videos, Blockman's Day 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 are all up. 12 is going up on 13. So, be prepared for that. Anyway, welcome. So, when we go Christmas shopping, you get the best experience of buying your relatives, your friend, your family members a gift. But, the reality is, um, it is hectic and it's, and it's hell bent. I don't know what you want to call it. It's hectic, it's time consuming. And it's the most frustrating thing to do on a daily basis, on not a daily basis, around this time of the year. You get three weeks each to shop for a gift for everybody. And I don't know what else, I'm not even done yet. I'm not even done yet. So I will give you a Christmas experience shopping spree. It just probably will be tomorrow. Not, it will be tomorrow. Oh, it will probably be on Tuesday, Vlogmas Day through 14 instead of Blockmas Day 12. I'm just going to explain the experience. I already did partial of my Christmas shopping, so why not give you a part two of Christmas shopping being on um, Tuesday. So, when you go into the stores, you're ready, you're willing to go in, but you gotta, you want to be like that, quick and out. I have never been so mad to go Christmas shopping in my entire days. It's, it's funny. For one, when you go Christmas shopping, you hate, what I hate the most is that people do not prepare. I'm going to be honest, I have my moments where I procrastinate. Hey, but I wouldn't wait so late as to far in as to not being prepared to get my Christmas gifts, not being prepared to get my, um, you know, my shit in order, anything like that in between, my Christmas tree, even my lights, <laughs> anything. I said that with ease, anything. Thank God for every year my mom has Christmas lights and my, every year she buys Christmas lights. And she gets Christmas gifts and everything like that early. So when we go Christmas shopping in store, I like to go in store, for, especially for clothes, so I get to try them on. So when I go Christmas shopping for like, um, let's say a couple pairs of shirts and a couple pairs of bras, panties, um, anything in between, I go in store. Anything that I want technically, probably like technology, games, or anything like that, uh, I can either go buy them online or go to my local GameStop and buy them in person as well. Let me explain. So, um, let's explain the experience. I went to Ashley Stewart today around 11 o'clock. Got there about 11.30. I went Christmas shopping. So, what I grabbed from there was... Um, I grabbed me some clothes. I mostly get my clothes from Ashley Stewart and my bras and panties from Lane Bryant because they're more better at um, their bras and panties. I'm just gonna say it, it, but yeah. And when I get there, it's it's basically empty, slightly empty. It's like maybe one or two, three people because it's not the middle of the day. Well, kind of is, but it's not that time of day where everybody's in there and be like, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. They gotta focus on this. On that. I don't want to be like that, a part of that. So, I got there early. I grabbed me a couple shirts. A couple bras. Well, no, not the bras. I grabbed me some panties. Um, I grabbed me some... I also get some panties from Ashley Stewart, too. I forgot. Some shirts, some pants. Um, a jacket. I love their jackets. I got me one last year. This year, I got me one in black. Not a jacket, but a coat. And, um... What else did I get from there? Normally I get the jewelry, but this year they didn't really have much. And you know, I was getting ready to check out. I wanted another shirt too as well. I wanted another shirt. But, I don't know. I have a number 250. Not really supposed to spend a lot. But, yeah, when I get there, there's a lady. You know how you go into the store and a person's literally standing there talking at the top of the cash register and she's like, yeah, girl, my day was like, Yada yada, yada. oh Christmas shopping is so hectic. You make it more hectic standing there talking, conversating, and and, per and I'm you know you gotta be patient and polite. You don't wanna cause no problems. You don't wanna fight. You don't wanna um go into no attitude, an adjustment, anything like that in between. 
you want to get it done and over with. But you got this one person that's standing there and just literally sitting there talking like, hey, look, girl, my day was like, get, bro, your day hasn't even started yet. And for most people, their day don't, well, my day don't start till a little bit like around 10, 11 o'clock. I'm a sleep in there. I get up around them times. Unless it's a school day and I got to take the nephew to school. Then we go to Walmart. Walmart is hell. Oh my God, Walmart is hell. Walmart is hell. Walmart is hell. Walmart is hell. I thought Ashley Stewart experience was terrible. Walmart was hell. It was hell. On one hand, you got a bunch of crowded ass. On one hand, it is crowded. On a second hand... It's too many motherfuckers going in, like, it's mad Walmarts. You mean to tell me a half a dozen of you motherfuckers decided to come to this one Walmart? I avoided one Walmart just to go to that Walmart. Like, I'm going to be straight up honest and true. I went to one Walmart just to avoid the other Walmart and wind up getting the same dose of my own medicine. Here I go being Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Think I done made... This is thing I done jipped the system or something like that. I don't know what I did, thought I was doing, but um, it didn't work. Walmart was crowded. As hell. I'm glad that was my second choice to go to, cause who, buddy, rolling like a big shot. It was crowded, and then they only got a certain amount of lines that's open, and it was crowded. Lines of sitting back from the group, from the all the way back from the um, what's it called? From the cash register all the way back sometimes to the products. And that shit was funny. It was not fun. It was funny. So I got into the line, and then my nigga got out, and then this white man came out, and he literally is prepared. Now, I say it's crowded, but I also say it's a lot. You would think that you would be able to get everything you want at Walmart. It is not true. Once people go shopping for Christmas, they dog the hell out of them sections, especially the pajama section. I was trying to buy my grandma on my dad's side a pajama set, some slippers. I was going to get her some socks, but I said no because and other case issues but yeah and then i got my uncles some slippers um i was going you know what i was going to get some pajamas for them i guess i'm gonna have to do that on vlogmas day uh 14 which is tuesday so that'll be part two of going back to walmart and see the significance of shopping christmas is literally next week week so it's like it's gonna be funny the, this week is just starting this week is just starting so this don't count as next week Next week is literally the 20th through the 25th. Christmas is on a Saturday this year. Ooh, some of y'all gonna be turned the fuck up for no reason. But anyway, yeah, it was so crowded. I think it was crowded. I was trying to get my grandma a pajama set. I saw this nice baby blue, and it says Z's on the front of it. Um, sleeping with Z's or whatever the case may be. It was so pretty. And my grandma wears a 2X. It was so pretty. And it would probably have been a perfect color for her. But the bitch didn't take the bottoms for the top. What someone did was they unclipped the bottom and then they clipped the top to it. And then they put the. Uh, someone grabbed, um, I guess, a 3X shirt or whatever X type of shirt. And then grabbed the bottoms, which was a 2X, out the shirt out the set and then left the shirt i'm like really y'all really did it like that so i had to go and search for another shirt i i really wanted that baby blue one and it hurted me to my core to see that she couldn't you know i couldn't get it so i'm like to myself what can i get and i saw this gingerbread one it was cute it was cute cute it was cute, cute. It was cute. I will admit it was cute. So I got that. And then I had to match it with the brown and the shirt instead. And it was well worth it. It was, it was. They got some nice ass slippers. I don't know what anybody can tell y'all. But Walmart has really did the significance of updating its... It's, um... I want to say it's cozy. Cozy fashions. Because it is damn near comfortable in the motherfuckers. Extra comfortable in the motherfuckers. Like... The pajama sets is, is with it. It's with it. 
I will say this what though, you should not sleep in them shits because you will overheat and probably pass the fuck out. Literally, just pass the fuck out. And then after Walmart, so after I check out and everything, um, I'm heading over to Lane Bryant. This time I invited my friend Khadijah with me. And we went to Lane Bryant and we went shopping. Being at Lane Bryant now, this is where I get all my bras and panties from. And then I sometimes try to get a shirt from there. See, I love their shirts. This is one of them that I got last year. I love their shirts. I even got another shirt. I did either get, um, yeah, I got another shirt in there from Lane Bryant. I don't know if I got one shirt in there from Lane Bryant or two. Oh, I know last year I got two shirts, which was this one and another gray one. And I also, the year before last, I got another uh, gray one that says, Baby, it's cold outside. I also think I got another shirt in there, too. And I don't know where it's at. But yes, Lane Bryant has some good-ass t-shirts. I love these shirts. They're comfortable to me. And, and this is what I wear, basically, around the fall and winter time. It, hey. Yes. Anyway, after we get, um, after I get the Lane Bryant, and, um, I start, um, buying looking at the bras they only had g's and h's thank god i can fit an h i actually fit an i again i am busty but i fit an i and a j not a j a g h and i i fit an e too Ooh, i'm at that point where i can fit an e and i can fit a d depending on what size it is um depending on where it comes from but i can fit an e i mean a d Anyway, went shopping there. This is why I really went record. Not only was I looking at bras that I couldn't find that were um uncomfortable, well, couldn't find. It was like the the store clerk was staring directly at me. Like I don't know, she's trying to make sure that I didn't steal, cause I had my big per tote purse. This, which you'll see in the ending. I can probably get a nice little slideshow for you guys. But yeah, in the end, in the ending. I had a big nice, I had my tote purse. I guess she, uh, and, you know, uh, I guess she was trying to make sure I wasn't going to steal. Bitch, I carry money. If I go into a store and steal something, I am the lowest pettiest creature of all on common earth. I know not to touch something if I can't afford it. And I know if I can't afford it, you don't take what you can buy. You come back later and you buy it. it so I ain't no thief. And plus, I carry the Lane Bryan card. And I should, you should remember it because I remember your goddamn face from last year. And the year before last. Like, everybody, I hate that. When a person just walk around the store, and, or I don't know if it's because you're black or whatnot, but I just don't like that. I just don't like that. I just don't like that. And that's the reasons why I won't record. First reason why is because everyone stares at you like you stole something or like it's your fault. Second reason, everybody looks at you like you're supposed to look at you like, oh, what's she doing? Is she getting nuts in there? Or whatever the case may be. Then third of all, everybody just, I don't like that. People just be looking at you all funny and sideways. And then they want to ask questions. And then they want to make sure they're not recording. And then they want to make sure or you ain't getting them in the worst shots or anything like that in between. And then they want to make sure or that you don't put their face in, the, in your videos. Like, bitch, please, bye. But, yeah. And that was this Christmas shopping experience for me today. Now, again, I got to do some more Christmas shopping on, um, on Tuesday. So, I will do that. Tomorrow, you guys get an itinerary update. And then, Tuesday is a shopping day. And then, yeah, itinerary update. Because this is where I put my mind together and think of it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Sorry I didn't give you guys the video that you truly wanted. But again, enjoy the slideshow that's coming up next. Also, oh, I meant to tell you guys, when I put the Christmas tree, as you know, when you complete the Christmas tree, the star goes on the top. It's done. And, and we forgot to put the candy canes on. But... I got a picture for you guys later. So, enjoy the slideshow, and I'll see you guys in another video. Deuces!